Welcome back to Critical Care Survival Guide. Another thing I've been getting lots of questions about is when to prone patients. We're living in an era right now of COVID-19. We're seeing lots of ARDS and people want to know what's the benefit of turning people face down. Let's walk through this together. Prone therapy is useful in certain situations. We know from a big Perceva study, New England Journal of Medicine, 2013, the patients that had ARDS, who had a PaO2 to FiO2 ratio of less than 150, and were prone early in the course of their disease, had much better overall outcomes. In fact, the number needed to treat in this Proceva study was six. That means for every six patients prone with ARDS and PDF less than 150, we save one life. That's a pretty important number to remember. The benefits of proning are many. When you prone somebody with ARDS, we believe that you improve ventilation perfusion matching, particularly in the anterior portions of the lung. You see your patients in the ICU, they're in bed, they're on their back. A lot of the inflammation and secretions will, per gravity, drift down towards the bottom of their lungs. As soon as you flip them over on the belly, you improve ventilation perfusion matching by matching the best areas of ventilation to increase perfusion. Perfusion, you might remember, is very gravity dependent. If you recall the west lung zones, with west lung zone one being the top of the lung, two being in the middle, and three being in the bottom, most of the perfusion is going to the bottom of the lungs. When we're prone, we want to match the highest perfusion on the bottom of the lungs with the best ventilation. This is one reason the oxygenation improves. There are a couple other reasons. We've done studies where we do transesophageal echoes, and we notice that hemodynamics improve in the prone position. Another benefit, when you're prone, the heart falls forward on the sternum, and it doesn't collapse or cause atelectasis as much on the lungs as it does when on your back. Finally, the shape of the ribs comes into play. The ribs on your back are relatively flat, so the lungs can become very compressed when you're on your back. Whereas when you're prone, the ribs have more of a curvature, so you have less lung that's squished when you're prone. I have seen some patients that are proning before they're even on the ventilator. I've seen patients in bed on nasal cannula that were putting in the prone position to buy more time, improve oxygenation before other therapies may be needed. That's something you can consider in treating your patients. If your patients do develop ARDS and they have P to F less than 150, I do believe the standard of care at that point in time is to prone your patient. You need a committed team. You need a respiratory therapist at the head of the bed watching the ET tube. You need nurses who are gonna take the electrodes and move them from the front to the back. You need to be careful not to pull out lines and tubes when you do it. We also know that the longer you prone a patient, the better. More hours of the day, the better. In summary, prone therapy has been shown to be beneficial in ARDS. When you do it, you wanna do it early and you wanna do it carefully. Also, do it with a team that's experienced in this procedure. Thanks again for watching Critical Care Survival Guide. Please do subscribe and let us know what else you'd like to see.